A quick reminder, since the new year fell on a Sunday this year, the state and the federal government are recognizing the holiday tomorrow. That means most state offices and city offices in Minneapolis and St. Paul are closed tomorrow. Post offices are also closed tomorrow, so no mail delivery. Meanwhile, Minnesota lawmakers are back to work this week, including those who were just elected in November. There's a lot they want to get done, and Heidi Wigdahl takes a look at some of their priorities. When state lawmakers come back to the Capitol this week, it'll be the first time in nearly a decade that Democrats will have full control. The DFL is salivating before the session starts this week. They've got almost $18 billion to spend in surplus. They've got control over the entire state government, and they have a backlog that goes back almost a decade of progressive liberal legislation they want to move. U of M political science professor Larry Jacobs says some top issues, spending on education and housing, expanding abortion protections and tax cuts. I think we're going to see a whole lot of action, a whole lot of legislation moving very quickly um, in early part of the session. The state has a projected $17.6 billion budget surplus. However, it's mostly one time money. Governor Walz has proposed using some of that to give money back to Minnesotans through tax rebate checks. I do think we're going to see some fireworks at the Capitol. The progressive part of the DFL is mostly in the House. The Senate, uh, it's a little more mixed. Uh, there's only a one seat Democratic majority, and that rests on some members who are elected in very close races and from greater Minnesota. So they tend to be a little more moderate, a little more conservative. Jacobs says that may make it harder to pass legislation involving gun control issues and recreational cannabis. But we could see movement on voting rights and establishing a paid family and medical leave system. This is really high tide. The surf is up, the DFL is ready uh, to jump on their surfboards and, and, and bring this to shore. The 93rd session of the Minnesota legislature begins this Tuesday. In St. Paul, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. The incoming legislature is the most diverse in the state's history with 35 lawmakers of color.